Absolutely, yeah. Um, and I think it's important for you to develop a passion for the game from a young age. So, um, and it's great that this game is allowing people to do that. It's very easily accessible. You don't need any equipment. You just need a bat and a tape ball, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm sure the lads have great fun. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. I've actually not been involved in any, but I've heard a lot about uh, the chance to shine like mobile scheme. It's, um, I think someone just told me there's over three million people that have got involved in the game through this scheme. So you know, it's quite an exciting scheme, um, and you know any scheme that brings people to the game is is very good for the game and healthy. And I'm sure a lot of people will go on to play for for England from this. It's okay. It's the hand. The hand is getting there. Um, I got the go ahead today to, to start hitting some cricket balls. So um, hopefully I can start preparing for the tour to, to Sri Lanka next month. Have you, have you been able to hit, hit much yet? You... Uh, I started hitting tennis balls last week. Um, so I guess the next progress is starting hitting some uh, hard balls, and then hopefully I can start hitting some cricket balls at some good pace. Well, it's been. Yeah, it's been mixy. It's been nice to have a little break, but you know, it's been frustrating having to sit at home as well. It's probably the longest break I've had for you know since I started playing. So um, you know, I'm hungry to get back into it, hopefully, and you know, I'm looking forward to starting again with Lancashire tomorrow and go from there. Yeah, I've got winter training up for the next three weeks, I think, with Lancashire, and um, then I go away with the Lions to Sri Lanka, and then we've got the pre-season tour to Dubai with Lancs as well. So um, you know, it's a busy couple of months, and I'm sure the season will come around quickly. I guess there's just more, there's just more people interested in, in what you do. I guess um, is a simple answer, but um, but you know I think it's important for me to stay level and continue doing what I do, not worry about external things, um, and you know whatever has brought me to this stage, hopefully will hold me in good stead for the future as well. That's what I'm aiming to do. Yeah, no, I loved it. It was, it was great to get involved, and um, the lads made it very easy for me to, to walk into that changing room. It was. Um, you know the senior players, the management, they made it very comforting and straight away I could be myself and um, that kind of reflects on the field as well. I could go out there and play my game straight away I think which is which is important for a young lad coming through um, and you know is straight away you build friendships that hopefully will last a long time as well and um, you know I felt that way straight away. I guess um, you know it's obviously flattering at times but um, you've got to make sure that not everything you get you let get to your head. Um, it's important to, to make sure you stay level. I think in this game, there's, when there's highs, a lot of people will take you right to the top, and then you know cricket can sometimes bring you straight back down. So I think it's it's very important to stay level, maintain a quite a balance within your emotions, and um, you know it's, it's always quite humbling to, to hear to hear people at the highest level speak fondly of you. Um, but you know it should give you confidence, but make sure it doesn't reflect in complacency or overconfidence. Uh, well, you know, like I said, I've got a busy couple of months coming up, and then I've got the start of the season with Lancashire here. So, um, so you know, you can't look too far ahead in cricket. I think that's one of the things that I've learned in my short career so far. And you know, I'm hoping to, to just continue working hard, and hopefully, if I perform well for Lancashire again, that'll bring me to further honours. And so that's where, that's where, so do they, do they operate there? Do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we do the cricket.